29 children, 28 tattoos, and 8 divorces. Yeah, that's great. Sensational performances. That's a way to win a show. Tucker Clues. The queens of the world taught me how to be a lady. I am more confused than normal. Wow. <laughs> and a crack panel of celebrity detectives. Who is it? I have no idea. Why am I even asking you? Because of what am I? Week, the celebrities compete to stay anonymous. I have no idea who that you are, but your voice is unbelievable. The weakest performers are eliminated and unmasked. Last week, egg and ice cream were eaten up by the competition. Olympic figure skater Johnny Weir, gamer, Twitch superstar, and YouTuber, is Ninja. Tonight, the saga continues with Group C, Black Widow versus Leopard, and Flamingo versus Panda. And another famous face is revealed. Your favorite musical mystery starts right Rick Springfield. now. Oh, this is even harder than last year. <laughs> Some of my best celebrity friends may be mass singers because this season they have 42 Grammy nominations, 21 platinum records, 35 number one hits, and are worth a reported $287 million. Give or take some change. So how are we gonna figure out who they are? We have some help from our famous panel. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicole Scherzinger. Dr. Ken Jones, <laughs> Jenny McCarthy Wahlberg, <laughs> and Robin Vick. <laughs> All right, after an amazing season premiere, we are back. Tonight, we got four more stars trying to keep their identity a secret and a brand new flashy floor. You see this? Look at that. Yeah. 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 That's what happens when you get a hit show. You get a nice new floor. Look what it does. I look like I'm standing on a waterfall right now. Isn't it? <laughs> or a field. <laughs> or maybe I want something thick, like Robin with wavy hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. That's what I started. <laughs> All right, let's get off of Robin and get on with the show. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tonight. We will see four new celebrity singers perform two by two. After each face-off, the studio audience and panel will vote for their favorite performance, and the winners will get to sing another day. The loser of each face-off will perform again in the SmackDown. The panel will then decide who they want to see again, and the loser will be unmasked and sent packing. Are you guys ready for our next group of weirdos? Tonight, we've got Black Widow versus Leopard. Then, the Flamingo versus Panda. Watch out. Watch out, man. Into the Black Widow. Let's see if we can 
free some clues from the spider's web. I'm the Black Widow, because like me, they hide in plain sight. And when they strike, you know it. Frankly, I've been packaged my entire life. Are they a Sagittarius? Is that what that sign was? And after years of living in the public eye, you're in my house now. Welcome to my empire. <laughs> empire? Is it Oprah? And now I get to be here to share the real threads of who I am. So consider this the director's cut of my oh, life. Oh, director's cut. She's an actor. Where you'll find I'm a little edgier, darker, and more alien than you know me to be. She's a lot edgier. That's what's probably a fluffy persona. Maybe what you find in the deleted scenes. You better believe on this stage I'm going to be good as hell. Looks like Sherry Shepard's production. It does. That was the first thing I thought. Clock strikes upon the hour and the sun begins to fade. I spend enough time to figure out how to chase my blues away. chills all over my body that's how amazing your voice was the fact that you came out with your first song and choosing a whitney houston song says listen i know what i'm doing yes this is what i do for a living yep and i am here to win Woo! this season has been absolutely outstanding in terms of the quality of performances this is so strong i'm just completely blown away amazing job are you picking up on any clues from the performance or the package? Definitely from the clue package. I saw a film slate, so I, that makes me think she is an actress. So I tried to connect some dots and thought maybe an actress that can sing like that, maybe from Glee, Amber Riley, possibly. Mm. Amber can sing. That's a good guess. Can you pick up on any clues, Doc? I don't need no more clues, Nick. I know exactly who this is. Uh-oh. Okay, think about this. You are an actor. You play many different roles. This may be one of my castmates from Community, the first TV series I was on, my good friend, Yvette Nicole Brown, who was never able to express her range on Community, and everybody on the show knew she was an amazing singer. So, well done, Yvette. Wow. I love you. That's, I'll see you at the after show. That's a serious guest from Dr. King. That's I'm serious this year, Nick. <laughs> Well, Robin, we know that you're always in tune with the clues. What do you think? She moves very nimble and very, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> she just... <laughs> the mad squatter. Yes, man. Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe it's Cardi B after that move. <laughs> But no, the one thing I got from the clues was the darker and edgier than we're used to. So it might be somebody, you know, who's usually bubbly on television or has a very... Nicole Brown, Robin Thicke, that's what I said. <laughs> Last year, we thought uh, somebody might have been Sherry Shepard for a while, you know. And maybe she heard how much we were saying her name on the last year when we come on, so who knows. Yeah. I, 
It's definitely a good guess. All right, well, we should probably hear from the Black Widow herself. Yes. 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 What makes you the Black Widow? I like to hide until it's time to feast. Hide until it's time to mm. feast? I got nothing. That's Yvette Nicole Brown. She played hide and seek as a kid. And then, guys, it all makes sense. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the Black Widow. Our panel thought one of these celebrities might be under the Black Widow mask. Who do you think it is? I Coming up, this is someone big. Three more electrified performances. Who is it? Looks so handsome, young man. Leopard is hitting on me. <laughs> and later, the time has come for our match moment of truth. Take it up, take it up. Star at one point. But now, hear what I want to hear. <laughs> No. We're back on the Mad Singer. Well, we meet the craziest characters, and I'm not even talking about our panel. Black <laughs> Widow just went wild with I Wanna Dance with Somebody. Now let's all look closely for any revealing spots on the record. Because I am adaptable and can survive anywhere, even under the harsh conditions. And I know what it's like to be at the top. In my career, I've been a heavy hitter. No one could catch me. Catch me? Are they a runner? So what the big star at one point? But now, all anyone wants to talk about is the celebrity aspect. Yeah, scandals. You know, I really don't care what they say about what I'm wearing. Or even my relationships. Ooh, like a Katie Holmes. What about like Gwen Stefani? Yeah. But now, I'm stripping away the headlines and everything that has come to define me. Behind this mask, I will show the world why I have been, and always will be, the leopard. This is someone big. Someone in major. Go, girl! Major. 
underneath that leopard costume. Like, that was just so regal. Your presence is so strong, right? Galleon flattery will get you everywhere. Your voice is like, it's so full, it's mature, it's okay, seasoned. Coming, darling, We'd be like, don't stop, <laughs> don't stop. <laughs> Robin, you're picking up all clues, I know that look. Well. There's a couple things going on here. At first, you know, before I heard the voice, I heard a heavy hitter, meaning somebody might have had a lot of hits. Um, and now it's about uh, what am I wearing? So I'm kind of catching like a Billy Porter, nice. extra fashionable, like king of the Met Ball fashion. And he likes to hold the mic with two hands like that. Oh! Kid, you picking up on any clothes? Oh, I know exactly who this is. <laughs> As I always do. Dr. Ken is in the house. I think. This is an obvious pop star who's had many hits, who's had celebrity scandal. It might be someone from, like, Take That in Britain. It could be a Robbie Williams, who had a lot of hits and has had a resurgence, been on Broadway, is an amazing actor, okay. and I see Hold him. Hold on. Yeah. Well, you guys have talked about that this person is a huge celebrity. Well, Robbie Williams is a huge celebrity. No, but I, I'm sorry, sorry, Robbie. My idea of a huge celebrity is like a Jamie Foxx. Someone who's funny, who can throw their voice, who wants to trick us. No, no, that's not Jamie Foxx. Everybody knows Jamie's favorite animal is the platypus. Jamie would never go anywhere near a leopard outfit. All right, leopard. What makes you the leopard? Well, darling, isn't it obvious? Leopards can be fierce, and yet so divine. Fierce and divine? Oh, uh, you're a great health So Sherlock. divine. Right. So divine. I've got nothing. Very that dramatic. Jamie Fox. That didn't give you anything? Jimmy Fox is not that tall with all of you. He's a friend. He's not, he's no, not that, that tall. That, that, How do you know everyone's height, kid? Because I'm a doctor, Nick. I'm a doctor. All right. He likes my tux. You don't have it? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, it's definitely Jamie Fox. You keep my distance from his leopard. It's someone from the zoo in HR. Either way, whoever you think it is, we definitely know it was an amazing performance. Amazing job. Amazing job. Amazing job. <laughs> We're a superstar. Our panel thought one of these celebrities might be under the leopard mask. Who do you think it is? All right, it's time for our panel and studio audience to decide who won the first face-off of the night. Vote for your favorite now. The winner will keep it on and sing another day. The other will get a second chance in our SmackDown. This is hard. It is hard. It's hard. Okay, the votes are in, and the winner of this face-off is... Leopard's got this. Black Widow. The Black Widow or the Leopard. The votes are in, and the winner of this face-off is... Black Widow! <laughs> Black Widow, you get to keep it on. <laughs> Come on! Black Widow, get out of here before the Leopard attacks you. Go back to you later. It's not over. You got some smackdown and to do later. I'm sorry, Edward. You'll sing for one last chance to keep your mask on, but for now, go back to your spot backstage. <laughs> and now, the most colorful face-off in all of Mass Singer history. Woo! The Flamingo versus the Panda. Uh-oh. It's like National Geographic up in here. Straight out of a lawn somewhere in Florida, the Flamingo. Flamingo got a lot of sauce. All right, 
Free the panda. Attention, here are some clues about the flamingo. What's up, everyone? Welcome to my ZooTube channel, Birds the Word. Uh oh, ZooTube. Where I'm gonna tell you the real story of becoming a flamingo. I'm gonna let you in on all my tips and tricks from beauty to fashion to life advice. It could be a famous YouTuber that does makeup. Who's into beauty? Is it a Kardashian? Listen, I know what it's like to feel trapped in your career. She's been controlled. So I left. Now, I'm here to take back control of my destiny. Okay, could destiny. be a clue. Maybe a destiny child, yes. maybe? Kelly Rowland. It's why I chose the flamingo. Because they represent new beginnings. It's about damn time this badass birdie got to show her feathers again. Are there so many YouTubers out there right now? I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't know where to start with that. Oh, this is going to be tough. <laughs> Flamingo and your snatched body, your majestic, 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 <laughs> voluptuous. All right, all right, all right. You sounded amazing on that song. I think that voice was definitely part of a group, and we bought her albums before. That's what I think. That's how good you are, Flamingo. Nicole. You picking up on any clues? Definitely, there's a youthfulness about her. She, you know, she she backing it up up there. Hey, ah, ski ska. There's uh, the fashion beauty from YouTube. So there's obviously someone a bit younger, someone from like Danity Kane or Fifth Harmony or Destiny's Child. I don't agree with that. Initially, when I saw the clue package, I was thinking more, quite frankly, a disgrace YouTuber. Maybe it was someone to fall for grace, like, a, like, with all due respect, you know, like, like Olivia Jade or something like that. I didn't know going on that before. No way! Or just forget what I said. Maybe it's Chuck Schumer. I don't know these things. I'm a dummy. <laughs> well, you know what? I think we should ask the flamingo a question, right, guys? Yes, please. What makes you the flamingo? Well, I'm sassy. Okay. The flamingos are a symbol of very luxurious vacations. So I, okay. my friends, are your escape. Yes, queen. I see the wheels turning over there in Robin Thicke's mind. Yes, yes, that, uh, I think she just gave a clue, but I need a second to go through oh, my research here. Wait, 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 what's yeah. the clue? What's the clue? Escape. Escape. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Yes. One of the girls from Escape, I think. What's the girl? And she wrote yeah. hit songs for other artists, too. She's very, very talented. And she has a reality TV show also. 
That's it, it's Candy Burris. Are you candy saying Burris. candy? Candy, yes. That's interesting. Height wise, maybe. I'm just throwing it out there. I, I also thought maybe just from her attitude, it reminded me of Tia Mowry. Sister, sister? No. She want to escape from that? She's got that same sass I've seen on the reel. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, we don't know what you're saying. <laughs> oh, this game is hard, man. It's harder than last year. And last year was difficult. <laughs> well, hey, at least you guys got something. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the amazing performance of the Flamingo. Our panel thought one of these celebrities might be under the Flamingo mask. Who do you think it is? I'm still in shock that I actually went out there and did this. This is so out of character for me. They actually thought I was the professional singer. I'm in shock at all, people. Shock at all. Who is that? Come at me. Come at me, bro. And as a gamer, must be that nationwide 5G she got from Cricket. Oh, now I got no mercy. I'm scared. More fun? More fun. This year, Haverty's makes keeping your redesigned resolutions easy. With hundreds of styles and thousands of fabric and leather options to choose from. The hard part will be choosing your favorite. And now get up to $1,000 off at Haverty's. Feel like you're being watched? Hackers can steal what's on your device or see what you send over Wi-Fi. Keep prying eyes out using Norton 360 with a VPN for online privacy and more. Go to norton.com slash privacy. Turn your home into the place where memories are made with pool tables from Brunswick Billiards or get the Carson from just $19.99. Wood bars from $8.99 ready for immediate delivery. Add bar stools from $59.00. Save up to 40% on comfy sectionals and sofas. Add a reclining theater group. Now just $3.29 per seat. And start planning your summer now with pools, patio collections, and hot tubs. Only at the greatest game. Not the greatest Tonight are three of the shining stars of the new Fox drama, Almost Family. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Brittany Snow, Megalyn Echikun Woke, and Emily Osment. Thank you for joining us. Any guesses so far? Oh, I'm thinking it's Dolly Parton for sure. The Flamingos, Dolly Parton? <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. Dolly Parton swagging like that? Yeah. I love her YouTube show, Dolly's Machestical. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Remember, everybody, Almost Family premieres tonight after The Mass Singer right here on Fox. But now, we're smack back in the middle of a very dramatic face-off. It's time to grin and bear some very cute clues about the panda. Dear Papa Bear, I've always admired your humble strengths. So I chose to become the panda because they remind me of you. Aww, her dad. Big influence. You taught me that shyness is a virtue. You don't have to walk into a room banging your chest. There's gotta be some symbol of banging your chest. An athlete, possibly. Coming from the world's greatest family in the forest, I learned to fight for all my dreams full force. Famous family in the forest. And being as I love to sing, I have an animal instinct that this competition will be no match for me. Match. Tennis. It could be a tennis star. Here, I'm taking a page out of your book and creating my own legacy. I hope I can make you proud. And cooking. Cooking like mama. So mama might be a cook. So pan the camera to my good side. This one's for you. Oh, so cute. Do you have any guesses off the bat? Layla Ali. <laughs> no way.
was amazing. Dr. Ken, talk to the panda, please. Amazing performance. You it, really, you just you just captured the stage. And there's just obviously something so likable about you, so charismatic. And honestly, you're to me the sentimental favorite of the show. All right, panel, are you picking up on any clues from the performance or the package? Putting up everything with you having a supportive family, and sounds like you were already successful on your own. Maybe a celebrity cook, a celebrity chef, maybe, and, and you guys are gonna laugh at me, and I'm oh, gonna ignore we will. it. You know, maybe a Martha Stewart type, maybe. <laughs> she does hang with Snoop Dogg now. So she does hang with Snoop Dogg now. Yeah, it's true. You know, that doesn't mean she's as tall as Snoop Dogg. Three times the size of Nick? I don't think so. Well, everybody three times the size of Nick. He's the shortest host in TV history. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's 5'1". <five> <laughs> Miss Scherzinger. I mean, Nick, they threw in match and talking about their father being a strong influence and guiding them. So I was thinking maybe Venus Williams, only because she talked about Papa Bear. Nice. I, I don't hate that answer. I actually like it. But these are the clues that really stood out for me. Strength, fighting, match, winning. So definitely an athlete. So I immediately went to like wrestling, MMA, maybe Ronda Rousey. Well, Ronda Rousey doesn't look like that. How do you know she's dressed as a panda? If it's Ronda Rousey, she's gonna beat your butt, Ken. No, I'm sorry, Ronda, if it's true, I'm sorry. Well, let's hear from the panda directly, shall we? What makes you the panda? I'm lovable, but fierce. Look, I, everyone knows I'm the king of wrong guesses, so I deserve a second chance. Now that I've processed everything, it takes me a little longer. Just hearing a voice, lovable but fierce. Something Queen Latifah-ish no, about her. No, Thank you. No, Thank no. you. I won. It's not Queen Latifah. I think it's Queen, Queen Latifah. Latifah. No, Queen Latifah can sing. That's right. Queen Latifah knows how to sing. You can sing too, Panda. Stay with my logic. Queen Latifah. The Panda can sing she... too. It's Queen Latifah who we know can sing better than that, but she's shy. No. She thinks she's tricking us. Queen is gonna kick your butt too, let me tell you. Well, one thing we do know, that was an amazing performance. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the panda. You did a great job, Latifah. Love you. Our panel thought one of these celebrities might be under the panda mask. Who do you think it is? All right, it's time for our panel and studio audience to decide who they want to see sing again. Who will live to sing another day? And who will join Leopard in the SmackDown for one last chance to keep their mask on? The votes are in. And the winner of this face-off is... trailer and float, madam. Panda, you're going to smack down with the leopard to decide if you take it off or keep it on. That's right, Panda! But for now, we're going to see you later. Keep it going for the panda. If the TV was on and I was cleaning the living room and I heard that voice, I'd be like, oh yeah, it's so-and-so. But for some reason, in the panda costume, it's throwing me. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mass Singer! The two singers in Jeopardy, the Panda and the Leopard, now get a second chance to stay in the competition in the SmackDown. They both sing, our panel votes, one moves on, and the other will be unmasked right before our eyes. <laughs>
sad to see either one of you guys go because there's so much personality you both have such lovable outfits and personas and uh, for you to be shy and to come on a stage like this and bear your all oh, get out seriously is. what a confidence uh, boost this must be for you to even overcome the, this obstacle and, and a wonderful job great job okay panel enough talk time to vote Ah, this is hard! Alright, who will win the SmackDown and keep wearing a sweat-drenched costume while lying to their friends and family? And what secret celebrity is going home unmasked tonight? We'll find out after the break. The time has come for our masked moment of truth. And the winner of this SmackDown is... That means, Panda, I'm sorry, but you're leaving us. I feel so bad for Panda. But we can't wait to see your famous face. Keep it going for Panda. Oh, the Panda! Panel. It's time for you guys to give us some final guesses. I have never been more confused on this show than right now with Panda. I've gone from Ronda Rousey because of the <laughs> athlete all the way to Wanda Sykes being a, like a comedian because you make me laugh and you've got a lot of attitude and sass. So I am so lost, but if I'm going to throw it out there, I'm just going to say Wanda Sykes. No, that's an amazing wrong guess. I am going to double down and say this is Queen Latifah because she is <laughs> likable. Hear me out, guys. Stay with me. Yeah, not known for singing, but can sing, but did disguise her voice. She's known for singing. a supportive, I know, but then she's disguising that she can't sing as well. Just love my logic, if not my choices. I, I got an idea. So after watching the SmackDown, th this has to be somebody with a comedic background. I think Lonnie Love from the Chelsea Handler show, yes. also from The Real. Uh, I'm going Lonnie Love. That's a good one. Ooh. Sure, Zika, who do you think it is? I think maybe they come from a famous family, and she said match in the clue package, so I am going with Venus Williams. We are all over the place. Okay, panel, you made your final guesses. Now let's see if any of you are right. I'm ready to see my queen. Show us who you are, Panda. Come on, Panda.
and of course, daughter of the greatest boxer of all time, Muhammad Ali. I knew it was you. I can't believe you guys did it yet. You didn't know. How'd you know? When you were joking about singing and she punched me. I was like, ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh. I gotta be Layla right there. So what was it like being the panda? Oh my God, it was crazy. Just this suit being hot, just singing through this mask. It was like, I feel like you couldn't hear me. So it was a lot of fun. I mean, I've always loved to sing, always been shy with singing, but it was fun to be able to perform without anyone knowing. As a joke, I said your name, but the padding on the outfit, complete, I, I know your body type. I was like, that is not her body type. So you're totally fooled. Now it makes sense. Athlete, family, <laughs> winning. Nick, I think we can cut out all that Queen Latifah. I only mentioned it once. So we can cut that out of the show. I don't think she's going to know, guys. I will say, this is the first time I've ever lost something like this, so right. my heart, yeah, I was like... She's undefeated! Yes. Oh, She's an undefeated God. boxer! <laughs> it was very humbling, but it's been fun. Aww. You're amazing! We know you're not used to losing, but you're still winning in our eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, one last time, performing for us right here, give it up for Layla Ali! What does a kill you make you so Week. Four new undercover celebrities battle it out. That voice is so legendary. Yes, baby. And we all try to figure out Jennifer Hudson. Mariah right, Carey. Who is under the mask? I did not see this coming. The Masked Singer. All new next Wednesday on Fox.